Tuesday, 23 of December. It's Christmas Eve, Eve. And we are we are uh, really getting to the to the business end now. Um, we started in creation and now we are getting to the crib. Uh, Matthew, our uh, reading today is from Matthew chapter one. This was how the birth of Jesus Christ took place. His mother Mary was engaged to Joseph, but before they were married, she found out she was going to have a baby by the Holy Spirit. Joseph man was a man who always did what was right, and he didn't want to disgrace Mary publicly, so he made plans to break the engagement privately. While he was thinking about this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, descendant of David, do not be afraid to take Mary to be your wife, for it is by the Holy Spirit that she is conceived. She will have a son, and you will name him Jesus, because he will save his people from all their sins. It's yet another surprise angelic visit today, this time to Joseph, to tell him the unexpected news that his fiancée Mary is pregnant. How do you think he might have felt hearing that news? Today, lots of people have children uh, when they're not married, but in those days it wasn't usual. People would have been perhaps very unkind to Mary and Joseph, picking on them and spreading gossip about them. They might have been ignored or even bullied by their own friends and family, but they kept trusting on God through all of this, staying true to him. If you've ever been bullied or picked on or gossiped about, you know it can make you feel very sad. Remember that just as God was with Mary and Joseph, he's with you too and loves you. Something to do today, you will need a grown-up to help you with this. Um, find a piece of paper and write down a few words about a time you might have felt bullied or unkind words others have said about you. Now give those words over to God by burning the paper in a fire pit or by lighting it with a match in the garden. Watch how it burns up and remember that God can take away those words forever. Now let's pray together. Lord, when we go through difficult times or when others are unkind to us, picking on us and making us feel unhappy, help us to trust that you are by our side and that you love us more than we can imagine. Holy Spirit, fall upon us and remind us that you are here. Amen. So that's the end of today's story and reflection. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon. Bye.